Okay, uh, my name is Ivan Retamoso. I teach mathematics at BMCC. I'm here to show you how to embed uh, YouTube videos in WebWork homework problems. Uh, WebWork is a free platform that a lot of uh, instructors use to assign homework to their students. Uh, WebWork has a lot of advantages. Um, among them, um, when students get homework, since the problems are randomly generated, then each student gets a different problem. However, these problems are similar to each other. So they could work in groups, but in the end, they have to submit their own work, right? Their own work. Now, having said that, uh, sometimes what happens is that within a set of problems, one problem gives a student a hard time. One problem is difficult. They don't know how to do it on their own. They need help. So they start sending emails massively to the instructor. Instructor gets a lot of emails and the instructor has to respond with uh, hints, with um, uh, inside ideas for students to go over it, right? And sometimes that is not easy to, to do it via email by typing it because sometimes problems, they deal with figures, constructions, modeling. So it is preferable to create a small video in YouTube and then post it, post it. So that is precisely what I'm gonna show you, right? Um, I'm gonna show you how you can um, embed a video next to the difficult homework problem so that students can have some help, some reference to go over it. Okay, so I have created these four steps that are gonna help you to go through this process. The first one is gonna be once you have chosen your own video or once you have chosen a video um, in YouTube from the internet, you're gonna copy the code of the YouTube video. And what's the code of the YouTube video? It's what comes at the end of the link of the YouTube video. I will show you an example, it's easy to copy. It. It's a sequence of letters and numbers that come at the end of the link of the YouTube video. Step two, you're gonna paste that code of your YouTube video in the highlighted part of a template that I'm gonna show you. I have prepared a template, so I have highlighted where precisely you have to uh, paste that the code of the YouTube video, okay? And after that, you're gonna copy all the commands, all the commands, because on a step three, you have to paste all those commands inside the web world problem. The, problem that was giving difficulty to your students, right? So again, I will show you how to do this with an example. And that pasting has to be done right above the last command once you edit your problem in WebWorld. And the last step is just you update, you update the problem in WebWorld and then the video will be attached to that particular problem, you will see. So for a moment, then now, let's step out of this uh, presentation and let me show you a concrete example of how this is done. So for example, let's say you are teaching calculus and you are working with web work to assign homework to your students and you have assigned them homework related to um, optimization problems, optimization problems. So let's say here, optimization problems in web work. And you have given them 17 problems. Among these 17 problems, problem 13, problem 13 is giving them trouble. Let me see what's problem 13 here. Look, this is a very classical problem in calculus. It's about constructing a box whose volume must be maximized. The way you construct this box is you have a cardboard, you cut off the corners. The big question is how much you must cut off, right? What should be the side length of these squares? Such that when you fold the flaps, you create a 
box with maximal volume. Students have a hard time figuring out what is the volume function, what they have to do after they figure out what the volume function is in terms of x, right? How they find critical points and what is the value of x that guarantees the maximization of the volume. So all those hints can be um, given via a nice YouTube video that the instructor could create, or if not, the instructor could pick up a video from um, OER materials in the web, in the internet, such as Khan Academy or so, right? But once you have the video, now I'm gonna show you how to embed it in here. So let's say I am looking for a video uh, that is gonna be good for my students to deal with this optimization problem. This is a YouTube channel that I have. So I go ahead and choose a video that is gonna be appropriate for this. So let's see, aha, uh -huh. here, there is a, a video that deals with optimization problems. It's this, so just go there. And as I said, we need to capture just the, the the link of the video, right? The link of the video, which is going to appear here when you click on share, or it also appears here, right there, right after the equal sign. That's all we need to capture right? this part, right? This up to here, okay? Or if you prefer, you click on share and you capture up to here, right? Up to here. Very good, very good. Yeah, either way. Now, now you're gonna paste this you're gonna paste this into the template, into the template that is also provided in the page three on the presentation, you will see it. So and here I have highlighted where you have to paste this uh, code for your YouTube video, right? So you just go here and paste it there. Mm -hmm. Here, here. Yeah, once you do that, it's based in the whole, yeah, you just need the code. So remove this part. Mm -hmm. We just need the code, I guess. I capture everything. Very good. So now all you need to do is to get this, all this, commands, copy, and then paste it into WebWork, into WebWork. So we go back to WebWork, we were here, right? We go into WebWork, and then once you hit edit in your problem in WebWork, you will see the codes, don't get freaked out. Just go at the end on top of the last command, which is here end document, just paste what we capturing a step two, right? And then update, take action, and the video should appear there, as you can see, right? Before it didn't have a video, but now the problem has a YouTube video attached to it. Such that when a students now go to that particular problem, that particular optimization problem, right? Problem 13, remember the one that was giving them trouble? They will get to see your video there. Now, it's worth mentioning that when they uh, click here, they will get to watch the video within WebWork, completely safe, right? Uh, but also a student will have a chance to click down here. That is why we, we copy this twice. They will have a chance to click here and watch your video directly in YouTube, directly in YouTube, right? And you may say why it's a big deal that they could watch it directly in YouTube. Well, sometimes the students want to subscribe to their professor's channel or they, they want to uh, somehow give likes to the video, right? To, to um, give feedback to the instructor, right? So that's it's possible too, right? So you can play it here. Very good, guys. So now, as you can see in the video, they can see the construction of the box and you can write anything you need, right? Sometimes 
even uh, need of technology such as um, there's more activities needed and everything could be captured in the video. Very good. And this is uh, pretty much it. Um, let's go back to the presentation here. And uh, here is the template with the codes, right? So I want to leave the last minutes for a question. So in case you have questions, guys, feel free to ask me. Uh, otherwise, um, thank you for attending. Thank you for attending. And I hope this will help you to um, post your videos if you are using WebWork. So uh, do you guys have any questions? You can write it on the chat or you can tell me verbally what questions you may have or comments. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. There is a question on the chat. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Linda was saying, "Yeah, great, great. Mm -hmm. Very good." So you, yes, we're saying go web work is a free platform. So how you find it on the internet it might be a little less useful for a biology class than, let's say, one of my some of my colleagues, let's say, in physics or chemistry. Oh, okay. Uh, WebWork is was created by the Mathematical Association of America, okay, and it, it provides um, different colleges such as CUNY colleges, even private colleges, a way to create a server, a server. So the first step, if you want to get WebWork, is to I will show you here the link. Uh, try to go here. I will I will show you where where is the the link for this part. Mm -hmm. Here, here. This is it. Mathematical Association of WebWork. So I'm gonna show this link in the in the chat, right? So the first step is to contact it. It's absolutely free and allows um, allows everyone to uh, work uh, creating these uh, homework problems for free. And as I said, right, since they're uh, randomly generated, each student gets a different problem, but however, they are similar and, and you can help them out by giving them hints, right? You are not gonna solve the same problem, but you will say solve something similar so they can have a reference, have a reference. Yeah, you follow? Yeah, you just go to that link and then, yeah, great. Mm -hmm. yes, Any other question? It's free. it's free to use? Absolutely free. Yes, it's because it's oh, considered wow. OER material, open educational okay. resources, absolutely free. So nice. students don't have to pay anything, zero, no payment from students and instructors also, they don't have to pay anything. It was created by a grant uh, that was given to the Mathematical Association of America. And as you can see, right? They uh, improve it from time to time. They take care of it and you just use it. And it's highly used in the United States for uh, professors teaching STEM courses. Yeah. And so, I, what I um, said, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, so the, um, you just give your students a link or something to, to, to uh, access the homework? Aha, uh -huh. very good question, Nicholas. Very good question. Let me explain. Yeah, once I contact the Mathematical Association of America, they tell me, okay, your school has the following website or site, right? So mm -hmm. they will give you this. They, for example, here I teach at BMCC, right? So mm -hmm. my link is here. You see it? Web work, but this is for BMCC. My course, web work here, you see? Web work. Yeah. Fall 2021, they create everything for you, everything. You just have to sign in and then you, you get to use WebWork. So okay. your, school, your school will have the server for you to just go in and you give the, your students this link and they will sign in and will find the homework problems there. They, most of them are suggested, but you could create your own homework problems as well. Uh, WebWork has like 30,000 uh, problems to choose from. It, this has a, and they're very nice problems. Very, very, mm -hmm. very, yeah. Some of them okay. use applets. And, yeah, very good. Any other questions? Nice. Yeah, very good. Very yeah. good, Nicholas. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, you. guys. Oh, thank you. Thank you guys for coming, right? I hope this, this will help you. This uh, is, is going to be recorded, so you will get to see um, the... Um, how uh, you know 
this was uh, done. The, if you want the whole presentation, also feel free to email me. I can send you this whole presentation where the template appears, right? Where the, the is highlighted where you should, to put the code of the video. And then this will take care of everything. We'll show the students the video within WebWord and also outside WebWord. So you can, you can use both, okay? Thank you very much, guys. I think we are running out of time. We should pause the recording, right? Thank you right, very thanks. much and take care of yourself. Enjoy the rest of the weekend. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.